Introducing the zigzag basket weave stitch pattern with its deeps and its peaks created solely by knits and pearls. And as if that wasn't enough to make you fall in love with it, it is 100% reversible. In other words, it looks identical on both sides. Hey, it's Denise from Lumahad.com and before we go any further on this video, I just want to give you that heads up that this is a stitch pattern only and so I won't be going over cast on and cast off. So without further ado, let's begin. For row one, we're going to knit five and purl five. And when I go from right to left, I tend to use the flat version of the knit stitch. And for that, you basically put the yarn over the existing loop and take the bottom loop over the top and knit off. And here is my five knit stitches. For the purl, you're gonna take the working yarn and put it under the existing loop and take your hook from the top. You're going to then get that working yarn. You're going to scoop it up with your hook to create a new loop and then take the old loop off the peg and put the new loop on and then pull the working yarn to tighten that stitch. All right, you're going to do that again. Scoop up and create a new loop. Take the old one off, put the new one on and pull. And remember that you need five purl stitches. So this stitch pattern has a multiple of 10. In row one, five knits, five purls, and then you're gonna repeat those 10 stitch patterns as many times as is necessary for your project. In my particular case, I repeated mine three times because I wanted you to see the stitch pattern really good. And so you see that my uh, metal stitch markers are every 10 stitches. Okay, and at the end, I added one more knit stitch just to balance off the stitch. Now we're ready to turn direction and I start with that knit stitch that is not part of the stitch pattern. We go into row two with five purl stitches and five knit stitches. So basically we flip that last row and now we're doing five purl stitches first and you'll notice that I have a little rubber band um, right here on number five that's because throughout this all these rows that's always going to be a purl stitch and it kind of reminds me I have a mild ADD and I need that all right and then here goes my uh, knit stitches and this time I use the U wrap for no other reason than just direction it's just easier for me so you do those five knit stitches and you finished row two next four rows three and four all you're gonna do is repeat rows one and two again and for those that get a little confused the way this looks like is that row three is going to be a knit five purl five and row four is going to be a purl five knit five now we do row five where we're going to do a knit one purl five knit four and so i'm doing this flat version of a knit stitch right here first and then go straight into those five purl stitches and i want to just remind you that you could use any of the three versions of the knit stitch just don't use the e-wrap and then i wanted to show you that right here like i told you that mid section where i did the little rubber band uh, for a stitch marker is always a purl stitch and then i'm going to end this row with those four knit stitches and then i'm going to repeat those those two more times you repeat it as necessary for your particular project and then you're ready for row six where you're going to flip that pattern and you're going to knit four purl five knit one okay and uh, again on going in this direction for my personal comfort i use the e i'm sorry the u version of the knit stitch and then which is four and then i do my five purl stitches okay and i'm going to end the row with one knit stitch and by the way you can find these cute uh metal stitch markers 
and these looms in my store and I'll give you a link in the description uh, for all of those cool things all right so here's my fifth purl stitch and I'm ending with that one U wrap you can use true or the flat and then repeat it as many times as necessary for your project for rows seven and eight you're just going to repeat rows five and six remember just like you did before first row five then row six that's row seven and eight all right guys then all you're doing is you're going to repeat rows one through eight as necessary for your project now keep in mind this is the flat version of the stitch if you're interested in using it for a project in the round like a hat just get the written pattern and it will include that all right until next time